Hello everyone and welcome back to a continued blind let's play Conquest of the Longbow, The Legend of Robin Hood. My name is The Flat This Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today uh, we're continuing on. We got the golden arrow, we freed Marion from being burned as a witch. Uh, we also have a code that we had to give to someone, uh, Ransom. We can't forget that, that's definitely going to come in handy because she said spell it out on your hand as I taught you. I don't know what else is going to happen today though, but let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. There is- oh! I was going to say there's no one here. By the Virgin, I've never seen you breathless before. Is there a wolf at your heels? Oh! Huh! Little John sent me to tell you! Huh? Catch your breath, or I may never learn what you have to tell. Oh, the Abbot's treasure train has been sighted! The signal's been passed from our northernmost scouts! Well, it means watch on the overlook! Good. Then we have time to plan. Where are the rest of the men? All close by, within here in range. So within here in range. Uh, the men are on alert. They'll be here as quickly as they can manage. I hear a little chunk coming already. Our scout, has our scout has reported that the Baron's treasure train has entered Sherwood upon the north. Baron Lafever rides in the fore. The treasure is carried upon him, three mules and lions behind. Upon each side of the mules, he has 20 heavily armed men, of which 20 10 are crossbowmen and 10 carry shields and spears. So we face 40 well armed men in all, plus the Baron. What do we know of this Baron? Uh, if he's in the service of Prince John, he must be a man of dubious honor. But no less dangerous. If he rides at the fore, he is no coward. Shall we present our strategies? Aye, let me hear them all. Let us concentrate all our fire from the overlook where we're best protected. We'll strike without warning and simply keep firing relentlessly until they are scattered or surrender. The battle will cost us men, no matter what tactic we choose. We should demand a surrender first in case this Baron has more sense than courage. But set upon them from all sides if they refuse. Oh, there's no glory in an ambush. Couldn't even make a simple song out of it. We should show our strength from the overlook. With a blare of horns and bleeding of drums, singing the praises of Richard the Lionheart. They fail to surrender on the spot that we open on fire and let fall a deadly rain of arrows. Amid such trained soldiers, we have but one advantage, surprise. It must be a sudden ambush. We must fall upon them equally from both the overlook and the far side of the road. Let's round up some wild boars and drive them into the road. The horse and mules will panic. The boars will gore some of the soldiers, and then we can move in and take over. Ooh, this is a tough one. Can't save either. I did just save before coming here. I just had to blow the horn again. Uh, let's see. Attack from all sides. Does seem like we have the advantage. The man surrendered with fanfare. Probably not gonna work. Ambush from the overlook only. Surprise ambush from two sides. Great panic with wild boars. Uh, if we ambush from the overlook only, we have the high ground. And we all know from Star Wars that the high ground matters, right? So, let's go with that. This is cool. It's almost like playing a, uh, playing a game of um, Crusader Kings. Guys, seize the treasure. 
We lost two men. The ambush was effective. We took one man prisoner and released him on a harm, for he fought bravely. However, I would love to see the expression on the abbot's face when the survivor rise in Nottingham with the news that we had taken Prince John's treasure. We spent the rest of the day by helping Tuck count the money. 50,000 marks in gold and silver we had taken. This will surely buy the king's freedom. A toast to all my brave lads, to the loyal outlaws of Sherwood, and to Evan Hood, and to the king. Oh, to the suffering of Prince John and all whipped dogs who lick his boots. A finer day work we've never done. When the Queen's Knight arrives, we'll have a magnificent gift for his sovereign lady. Watch the road well. We dare not miss him. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of the game here based on points. However, I do want to go back and see what these other challenges are. That, that gave me a lot of points, though. It, it looked like no matter what happens, we're going to lose two men. But I feel like that may have been the best strategy. Maybe. Maybe. Um, let's... Go back and uh, let's just have it be safe. Why not? We just know 74 is a good one. Because I would like to see what the other options do as well. Maybe we didn't choose the best option. I think we did. I, I really like that choice. I mean, we were on one side. And because we were on one side, we were able to defend that side. Uh, demand surrender attack from all sides. I was seeing if you could skip the scenes since we already seen it, but um, I lost now. I wonder if it plays out the same way though. I like this guy back here with his shield. Oh, nope, there he goes. And then we got a guy running from the soldier here. There's no one left. Oh, we lost three men on that one. The little John's plan was not without merit. The Baron refused to consider surrender, and we lost the advantage of surprise. The battle raged fiercely. Too many died, for the Baron soldiers fought to the last man. We grieve for those who lost, but death is a faith that awaits all outlaws. At least they died praying to save King Richard. Uh, we did get to 50,000, though. I, I, um... I did think that... I did think that, you know, that probably wouldn't work, because... I mean, it, 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 attacking from both sides does leave you open to lose more men. And that's why I chose the one I chose. Alright, option number three. See, I'm trying to choose the ones that I think are best in order to see how well I do with this. So we lost two men, we lost three. Um, ambush, we did this, we did this. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. Well, this might have the best. That that might be better than. Hmm. I don't think this is gonna work. I think this is like the worst possible idea. I mean, first off, you have to get wild boars, and you have to hope the boars don't kill you. I think this is the third best option. That's the fourth best option. That's the fifth best. Let's see. I really like these strategy type things. They add a lot of flair to the gameplay. It's not just the same old scene. Oh, look! Guys just got in the background. <laughs> yeah, he's chasing him again. Maybe this was the best choice. Seize the treasure. That was the best choice! Caught from both sides by surprise, the Baron and his men were quickly vanquished. Only two of the soldiers chose to surrender. We stripped them of armor and weapons and set them free. Truly, this has been a proud day in the history of the outlaws of Sherwood Forest. We spent the day, rest of the day helping Tuck count the money. Wow, that was the best possible choice! Hey! I was wrong. I was wrong. But that's why we test all the options. I am gonna override our save here since that was apparently the best choice and let us go back and try the other two 
I thought no matter what we do, we'd probably lose someone. But nope. You can actually get by with a flawless victory. Flawless victory. Okay, I think these other two choices are bad. One, we lose our measure of surprise, and two, wild boars just sounds really, really bad. Uh, demand surrender with fanfare. I don't think they surrender. <laughs> I do not think they surrendered. There's a treasure. Okay, we go from 34 to, let me guess, uh, 30. Ah, it was close, 29. I fear Alan will find little to sing about. The Baron scorned our challenge and fought to the last men. The lost many, many good men. Only knowledge that the treasure can free the king eases the pain of the losses. But we did get the money still. I, I was thinking that one of these, or two of these, you wouldn't get any money at all. So it is interesting that you get money no matter what. You just lose more men. All right, final choice which I think is the worst choice possible. And that's trying to scrounge up wild boars. I think they're gonna add more chaos than anything to the equation. Although I was wrong with what the best option was because there was an option where, you know, we didn't lose any men at all. I guess I was playing too defensively. Attacking on both sides ensures that, um, the, the surprise ambush from two spies, A, it's a surprise, and B, you're hitting them at simultaneously, so you cut them down before they have a chance to react. Uh, Crate Pank, Wild Boars. Well, that's that. They've gotten past us. I no need, I no need to remain here. May as well return to camp and look at wood, so to speak. There was not left but to straggle warily back to camp, where we sat gloomily, pondering on lost that nice bell. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Nay, lad, was I who chose to race around the forest like a headless chicken after a bunch of vicious pigs at court one of our own men and refused to run in any direction, even close to Watling Street? Oh, wow, we actually did lose a man. Aye, once the Baron heard us thrashing about, he doubled the pace. They were long past the overlook or any other place where we might attack by the time we recruited. We must face the sad truth that we have lost the treasure. Our duty is unchanged. When the Queen's Knight arrives, we'll turn over as much ransom as we have. Let it not be said, we fail to keep our trust, no matter what our effects are disappointing. Alright, well, yeah, and that's, that's the thing that happens, I guess. You only lose one man, though. You just lose all the ransom, which... So there was one choice that is just bad, and then there's different levels of bad, and then there's a good choice. It's good to see you up. Will sent me with a warning. Sheriff has loosed his mongols to plague us again. Will urges you to not go abroad until they've gone their way. Yet I must, for the Queen's Knight will ride along the Watling Street and I must not miss him. Aye, that's why I told Will, you'd say. But go carefully, Master. You'll have a little chance to catch you in the forest alone. I'm in itself. We'll send it to, uh, leave the overlook to you. Thank you, John. May the Virgin Lady protect you. Aye, and you. Okay, so it looks like I gotta dodge the guards again, which shouldn't be difficult. I mean... I had the hand code. Uh, I had the hand code ready to go. And I have, I had the hand code ready to go on my phone and I have the manual on my laptop. So I have a little setup here that allows me to uh, hopefully get by these guys. The thing is I gotta find a place where there's trees. Yeah, I gotta find a place where there's um, druid trees for me to, like right here. Guess not. It's not a druid tree? I thought it was. The thrash in the forest. Is it? Aye, it's the sheriff's men again. They're almost upon me. This is where I spotted him. Okay, so that's not a druid tree. almost upon me. This way I spotted him. 
Is that one? It's not one either. I'm trying not to shoot. I'm trying to click over. Shoot, I was too late. I gotta find... Maybe this will help me. This is the configuration I need. Man. Shut down. We got him! We killed the most famous outlaw of them all! Doesn't look like much, do you? Well, he's dead, you twit. What do you think he should look like? I don't know. Big old like? If I had your brains as a blemish, you'd be spotless. It's plenty big enough for me, lads. But with the share some words, we'd be rich men. Get on with it, then. Cut off his head as proof, and let's drink the bub dry. Okay, so I need to find a way to get to a spot where there's trees I can click on. I could have swore I could click on this tree, but I guess not. Okay, these trees, um, that's the one that I've done before. I'm pretty sure there's other trees too, but... No, 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 don't, don't go that way. Yeah, these trees. Um, that is... That's a blackberry. So we need to go... Uh, Muin, which is uh, M U I N. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, let's go. There we go. Excellent. Now we head to the Overlook. Oh, what's going on here? It's good to have such trusted men. I loot the sheriff's men. They found the Queen's Knight and told him for me, uh, told, hold him for me upon Waitling Street. I'll join him at once. So, you're the leader of this rabble. What's the meaning of this? Sire, I beg to forgive my men if they are uh, angered you. They only did as I bade them. Did you not come to share what's seeking me? You'll learn nothing from me as long as I'm surrounded by outlaws. My men are completely trustworthy. You've nothing to fear from them. I order you to send them away. Very well. Men, you best leave. I don't like a rabbit, not one bit. Neither do I. Then go, because I ask it of you. Bah! Queen's Knight or no Queen's Knight. Could use a lesson of manners. Well, explain yourself, or step aside. I'm no time to waste on a common outlaw. I'll not move a step until I learn what I need to know. Then you best be quick about it, or my sword will teach you to move. Let's save here. First chance is we loot the guards. He's heavily armed and watches me suspiciously. Do you serve the queen? What's that mean to you, outlaw? If you wish to leave this forest alive, you'll answer me. You dare to threaten me! I wish only to serve the queen by delivering the treasure as promised to her messenger. You should have said that so at once. Turn everything over to me. And I'm sure you're the man I want. I'll gladly do so. Get on with it then, and be sure I'll report your insolence to my sovereign. Of course, do you speak? Nay. <laughs> I thought not. Have you no token, no message to prove you the Queen's Knight? You have no right to question me in the name of the Queen, deliver the ransom. I swear loyalty to King Richard, I'll do so at once. You don't command me, outlaw. We are loyal men, nothing can be simpler. I swear your loyalty. I order you in the Queen's name, deliver the ransom. False knight? What have you done with the true messenger? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Woo! Every sick dad told me this night was no queen's man, but now I must prove that I was right. Oh my gosh, that was, that was like, I mean, I was frozen for a second, not knowing what to do. Uh, let, let's go back there and see what the death scene looks like. I think I'm supposed to do the hand code, right? I'm supposed to spell out the word ransom. Let's see if he like recognizes that. Um, R A N S O M is on here. What were you doing with your hand? So this is how we know it's not him. Perhaps you didn't watch closely enough the first time. Shall I do it again? If you have business with me, get on with it. Oh, we got points for that. 
Yeah, because we're supposed to show him the, the hand code, right? So now that we know it's not him, then I guess we just shoot him down. It's like the real messenger was ambushed. He carried this letter, sealed with the imprint of the Pyre's ring. The letter reads, I have advised the prince that we have succeeded in a mission. The cub has taken the lioness cage. It is signed by the prior of the monastery and addressed to the sheriff of Nottingham. His armor wouldn't fit me, even if I might thought make useful disguise. As I carry a trade sword, it may prove his fault to see. Little John can deal with the horse. He has a way with the beast. Okay, so let's call our friends. I uh, stay within range of your horn, master. What's happened here? Why did you kill the queen's knight? Who was it, the queen's man? He carried a written message to the sheriff for the prior, proof of the conspiracy with Prince John. Oh, it's blood. What are the true queen's knight? We must find him. Leave this rest with me. I'll get him out of the road and see to the horse. He's thoroughly dead. Nothing else we're supposed to do here? The na no, knight was a skittish, but well... The knight has a skittish but well-trained horse. His little job. There's nothing else here? I'll see the horse, do not worry. Mia, what more do you want? Okay, let's, um... Where are we going, though? Oh! By dust, the force was clear the sheriff's men, for they're not brave enough to roam Sherwood at night. Nonetheless, I counted men anxiously as they returned to camp one by one. When all were safely returned or accounted for, I joined my friends by the fire. I go, where are these sheriff's men tempering through our territory like a vermin? I it's not rage. The sheriff must think this is his forest. We cannot let him hinder us. We must find the true queen's knight, and even, even though he set a soldier behind every tree. We better sleep on it then. Tomorrow may be, be a desperate day. Alright, new day again? Where are we heading? A farthing for your thoughts, Will. I was wondering what will happen to us if the king doesn't return. Those are unhappy thoughts, not worth the farthing. Bad enough we can't send our share of the ransom without the queen's knight. And if you can't find and rescue him, we'll be blamed for his death. You know that. Prince John will seize the crown and he'll spare nothing about us out of Sherwood. I know it well. I see a little way that can help you. It's up to you, Robin. Okay, so where are we going? Where are we going indeed? Um, there's a couple places we could go. Not here. Not here. There. This is like the last place I want to go because sometimes you have to wait here a little bit before anything happens. And I... I'd rather not just wait here if nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Um, I don't see anything happening. Okay, uh, where are we going from here then? Um, I mean, this is the only other place to go. This would be a good place to hide a prisoner, though. If not in the castle, I hear in the fence, especially if the pirates are working with them. We don't have any way across, though. Faith has dark and unwholesome water just deep enough to drown a man. Wait, maybe we do have a way, because don't. We have this ring. Which is supposed to command like water spirits, right? Somehow it keeps me from dining. Okay, yeah. Let's remove that one. Oops. Hello? We are called by the ring that commands water. 
How many we serve you? Do you wish to cross the water? I seek a missing knight and suspect these mugs of treachery. Can you help me? A prisoner is held in a tower of the monastery. Wait, we will bring you a boat. Excellent! Okay, so that's exactly what we're supposed to do. These words are very helpful. You even gave me a boat. Wow. Follow us and we will guide you through the fog to the place you seek. Okay, if there's anything like Conquest of Camelot, there was a section like this um, in the game where you had to go a certain direction. We will go before you to lead the way. Follow us or you will be lost in the fog. So I need to make sure I follow the wisp. Yeah, this is very similar to Camelot, except it seems a little bit easier. And went up. The prison you seek is held within this tower. Our hope ends here. We have no power over stone or plant. Okay, that was incredibly easy. Thank you, game. So much easier than the, uh, like I said, Conquest of Camelot. How do I get out of the boat? I probably had to click the boat, don't I? There we go. Fear not, we will keep your boat from staying. Or from straying. Cool. The ledge becomes too narrow to go that way. Alright, well, guess we're going this way. Alright, guess we're climbing. We cannot climb our best stone. What about this vine that's going up? I don't know about leaving my weapons behind. The vine spoke at my touch. Um... Light of the light of the false light carry bears a pirate seal. Master Reach, I have advised the prince that we have succeeded our mission, the cub's cage, thick and lion's cage. Signed by the pirate of the monastery and addressed the sheriff of Nine. How do I get up this? Clearly the ivy cannot bear my weight yet. I can see no other way to scale this tower. Sounds I've got the plants only in wait, what is Ah, hold on. Is that birch? Could be ash. I think it's ivy. Which makes sense, so ivy vines, right? Or or whatever. Um Gort. Gort is the thing I need. So. Let's do a hand code. Gort. Uh, G. O. It's an I, not a T. T is up here. Gort. Huzzah! Ivy has magically doubled in thickness and strength. Sweet. Did you hear something, brother? Thought I did, but nay, it's just the wind in the trees. Okay, I have a really dumb idea. Excuse me, could you let me a hand? You see, I'm nearly safe, but I thought I'd do something truly foolish instead of get myself killed. <laughs> Brother, quickly, bring some boxes and treat it below. <laughs> Poor Robin has learned to his dismay that death is better. Stone so away. Oh, yeah, that, that was great. I love that. Okay, let's go in here. Who are you? How'd you climb the tower? I see no rope. I'm Robin Hood, and I climbed the ivy that grows on the tower to reach you. I have... Liar! I tried those vines myself. They were brittle and wouldn't support a squirrel, let alone a man. Yet I swear that I climbed them with the aid of the druid magic. I have a boat waiting below to take us out of the fence. I'll go nowhere with you until you prove yourself a friend. 
Okay, we have the means to do that. Uh, ransom. R A N S. Good. Now I know that you're the right man. Then let's go. Let's waste no more time. Go before me so I might see you safely in the boat before I follow. You sure these vines will hold? I am here, am I not? I suppose if I must trust you, I may as well start now. Why is the prisoner escaping? Stop him! Yes, I will like to save my game now. Cool. I don't have to enter that code again. How do I... Oh. I went in the... the I went in the exact direction of the stone. Okay, I gotta learn how to climb down. I just hit restart by mistake. I think I'm climbing down. Dang it! I was so close! I was so close! Come on, climb down, climb down, climb. It's, it, I, I don't understand how to get him to climb down. Like I did before. Wait, can I use arrow keys? I can. The arrow keys may be better. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> well, the arrow keys I think are better. I just messed up. Gosh, darn it! When you're this close to them, it's hard to get past. I went right into it. It's like a game of paper, rock, scissors. You don't have enough time to, uh... You don't really have enough time to react. See, they can throw in different directions. So you have like a two third chance to guess correctly. And then once you get down to the bottom, it's kind of tough to see where you are. good so far. Perfect so far. Get it! Yeah! The boat's was If they reach the shore, all is lost. I think what I did the, the first time I went down is I got, I went down without getting into the boat, and I like went in the water. The monks were no desperate for two strong and desperate men. Once within the fort, the dark shelter of the forest, it was easily them behind. The queen's knight was fed, clothed in his wounds treated in our camp. But as soon as he was rested, he set forth with all the ransom we had to give him. Well, there's all our ransom gone. It looks great. Look at that. There's no need to come to me further. I have a loyal man waiting in Nottingham to see me the rest of the way. Then God speed you safely to the Queen's side. I give you my heartfelt thanks, you and all your men, for your aid and loyalty. I wish you'd come with him. You'd be safer with the queen. My place is with you until the king returns. And surely you think this cannot be the end of the story. Nay, there is much yet to tell. What follows is a time of waiting. Waiting for the treasure to reach the queen. Waiting for the ransom to reach King Leopold in Austria. Waiting. 
for King Richard to be free and return to England. You wait through the long and dreary months of winter for some word of your king's fate, and none comes. In winter, friend and foe alike keep the shelter and all is quiet. And at the swing of 1194, renews the green of the forest. You go forth with your men to hunt and repeal the larders. But alas, all your luck flees, all your cunning fails you, and you are taken by the sheriff's men. The sheriff declares you guilty upon the spot, and has you and all your men led to the gallows as quickly as possible. This can't be the ending. That he dares such a thing without a trial can only mean he is sure of Prince John's power to protect him. Why did I do wrong in the game to deserve a, this type of ending? Despair fills your soul. You have fought so long and so well, only to dance at the end of a rope. Yeah, that's exactly what I feel. This game sucks. Yet even as the rope tightens about your neck, you hear the drumming of whom's bear of horns in the clash of steel. King. Richard has come to Nottingham. Huzzah! Word came to me, Master Sheriff, that you captured the great outlaw, Robin Hood. But I heard nothing of a trial. Is this the way you've kept the law in my absence? But, but my lord, my king, he is a terrible outlaw, guilty of every sort of crime I saw no need. My liege, hear me. I am your true and loyal servant. I did not choose to be an outlaw, but was driven to it by corrupt and evil men. Silence, you thieving dog! Enough, I will hear him speak. My king, do you know nothing of the money we sent for your ransom? Not one penny did I or my men keep that we could sit and to win your freedom. I have not had word from my mother, the queen, to count for every mark. If what you say is true. My lord, you cannot take seriously the rantings of a desperate man. He will say anything to save his neck. Then it will be decided as it should have been in the court of justice. Robin Hood, you and those you call men stand accused of brigandage. Of stealing from the church, defying the sheriff's justice, defying the king's law, and killing the king's deer. Do you deny these crimes? My lord, is it a crime to defy those who abuse trust and use your laws to their own ends? Is it a crime to seek justice where there is only injustice? I do not defy your laws, only the evil men who use their power for personal gain. I do not steal from the church, but only from greedy men who use the church to gain riches for themselves. Those are strong words. Your light depends upon what I hear before I pass judgment. Because of his holy vows, I allowed your man, uh, this fire took, to go free that he might gather witness to speak in your favor. I trusted to his sworn word that he would return and share your judgment, as he indeed has. But there are others here who would speak against you and their testimony shall also be weighed. Let the witnesses speak! By your leave, I shall speak first. I've served Robin Hood thought faithfully for many seasons. He is a man of honor, loyal to his king and just and fair. I pray thee, your majesty, to give the mind to this curtal fire. I am the abbot of St. Mary's and I have been plagued by this rascal of an outlaw. 
He flouts the sanctity of the church and shows no respect of any true holy man, as this poor monk of mine can attest. Tis true, my liege. He waylaid me upon Watling Street, stripped me of my robe, and mocked my dignity. And that, that false fire beat me with a sword and forced me to toil like choppy wood for his gang of ruffians. A poor job he did of it, too. He fattened as he was a gluttony and excessive wine and ale and lazy from a life of a monkly comfort. My lord king, it was to this abbot that Prince John sent the stolen treasures so that you may languish forever in a foreign prison. It was Robin Hood who swore to do everything in his power to raise ransom for your freedom. And this he did, with every mark entrusted to the knight who brought it to the queen. Oh yes, it's received an accounting of exactly the amount the outlaw sent, and will weigh it in my judgment accordingly. Sire, this man is mistaken in accusing the prince of treachery. Your brother intended only to safeguard the treasure until it could be used to free you. It is only for fear of this diligent sheriff that the outlaw sent money, undoubtedly in the desperate hope of winning a pardon for his great many sins. I have not quick I've not forgotten your sins so quickly, you black hearted fire! Twas Robin who freed me from your torture! It was Robin who saved me and set me free! I knew at once he was a good man! Good enough that I trusted him the ring that commands water. And I kept it safe as folk asked of me. Furthermore, I had also the ring that commands fire, which had been taken by the abbot. A scurrilous lie! Where are my rings now? Ask yonder sheriff. Twas he that took everything from me when I was captured. More lies, my lord! We found nothing of value upon him! What say you folk? I would sooner take the word of Robin Hood over these rogues. And there is a matter where the Queen's Knight was also held prisoner in your tower. I, uh, these things can all be explained. You can be sure they will. And to my complete satisfaction. But we are here at this time to pass judgment upon Robin Hood. The judgment will come soon enough. Let the common folk now speak. I am only a poor widow. I lived by the wool I spin, and with the help of my three good sons, they were wrongly accused of treason and would all be hanged now if enough for Robin Hood and his men. I owe him the lives of my sons. Her sons consorted with outlaws and deserved hanging. My sons are all I have in the world. Bless Robin Hood for his goodness. God help the woman who seeks mercy at the hands of a sheriff for his men. Robin Hood saved me from one of his scoundrels who wrongly accused me of withholding taxes and would have dragged me to the most hideous fate that a woman can suffer. Robin Hood saved me from the sheriff's men they accused me of poaching. But what am I to do when I see my wife and children starving because the sheriff taxes us the last farthing? Uh, he treated me fairly. He gave me good money in exchange for my first set of rags. I must say that for an outlaw he was most just and fair to me. He gave me enough money to replace the clothes he took with clothes of equal quality and to spare. Speak up, yeoman. Let your voice be heard. I still wear the good suit of Lincoln Green that I was given, and proudly I wear it. To wear thanks to the good sh outlaws of Sherwood Forest that have returned to me home with a goodly sum in my pocket and won me a fair last to wife. Lady Marion, you asked to speak last. Thank you, my lord. I have come to know Robin Hood well, and I also owe him my life. Pay no heed to this slut, my liege. She's a witch who keeps company with brigands and... Silence! Lady Marion has served my queen mother for years and is of noble blood. I will not tolerate such accusations against her. Speak on, lady. Robin is completely loyal to you. He is honest, fair, and true, undeserving of the fate that has driven him to live outside the law. He speaks only peace and justice. He devoted himself to raising ransom on your behalf, even as these other wicked men conspired against you. Don't listen to the lies. Robin and his men are your truest subjects. I beg you to grant them pardon and your favor. There is anyone who has not yet spoken. Let him stand forth. 
Very well. The witnessing is complete. Clear the floor and I shall pronounce judgment. From in the hood, I find you innocent of all charges brought against you. Furthermore, I declare you a free man with no mark of outlaw against you. Your Majesty, I thank you, but my men, I, if I free the master, I must free his loyal friends. They are granted full pardons. Bless you, my liege. I am not finished. You deserve more than a mere pardon. The ransom you raised went far in securing my own freedom. Neil Robin Hood. And rise, the Earl of Huntington. Furthermore, my present sheriff of Nottingham is here by under arrest for treason. What say you to giving the job to Little John? I can think of no better man. The Abbot shall take himself from my sight forever or have a taste of the fiery stink with which he dare to harm the Lady Marion. The worthy Fire Tuck shall be the new Abbot of St. Mary's. And yonder prior, most evil car, your exile from my kingdom and your order disbanded for all time. I shall instruct my new sheriff to slay you on the spot if you are not gone from my shores within the week. Are you content, Huntington? My lord, you've done me such honors as I have never dreamt, yet there is only one desire, the deepest of all yet to be fulfilled. Then speak of it, man, and it shall be done. I ask for the Lady Mary's hand in marriage. Does my lady consent to this? With all my heart. Abbot Tuck, let your first job in office be the marriage of the Earl and his lady. I bless, I bless this marriage and declare thee husband and wife. Earl and Lady Huntington, you may seal this pact with a kiss. All right, I was scared there for a moment. I actually thought I messed up somewhere and I, I just got a really bad ending. I mean, it is a Sierra game. You never can trust Sierra games sometimes. But man, what a great, great, great game this was. I am over the moon. I'm ecstatic. I'm very, very happy. This was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And, and, and I'm just, I'm just very happy I finally played this game. I have been thinking about playing this game for a long time. And as we come up on my YouTube anniversary, like what, two to three days from now on August 2nd? Uh, it is... Whew, it has been a joy to play games with you, my friends. Uh, whether it's an RPG, an action, an adventure, a horror, point and click. Uh, visual novel, it has just been the best that I've experienced in years. So I want to thank you. Thank you all so much. Um, thank you all for who have been visiting along with the game, who have been commenting on the videos, who have been liking the videos. I do appreciate that greatly as we try to grow the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It, it means a lot to me and I... I can't thank you enough. I also do want to give a special thanks to our wonderful supporters of the channel for your Patreon and YouTube membership. Diesel Knight, Moose Gaming, Daddy X Dagoff, and Nello F. Batak, Tappers, Jenny QT, and Techno Trouble. Thank you all so much for your continued support. If you'd like to support me that way, links are in the description below. As well as links to our Discord. Our next game is going to be uh, Book of Intel's 2 with Chinookuti. And then after that, it's going to be a pay and vote based on games on our spreadsheet. If you don't know about our spreadsheet, look in the description below. There's a link to our spreadsheet that has every single game that we've ever played on the channel. Uh, links directly to the playlist, as well as upcoming games or games that have been recommended to me. If you'd like to recommend games, you, know, you just gotta reach out to me or go on my Discord and type into the, um, the YouTube game information where where I will upload the recommendation to the spreadsheet. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun. 
I can't thank you enough for everything. You are all the number one YouTube community in all of YouTube. And I have a feeling that this just keeps repeating because I could have sworn I've seen a couple of these things before. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here. I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for a wonderful experience. Uh, thank you for just the many years on YouTube. As I said, this was such a great game to play to celebrate my anniversary. And I can't thank you enough uh, for now. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.